Carbon dioxide can also bind to hemoglobin. The effect of carbon dioxide partial pressure is similar to the effect of pH. During aerobic metabolism, carbon dioxide gas is generated. The carbon dioxide gas is temporarily converted to carbonic acid in red blood cells. The result of increased carbon dioxide gas in the blood is a lowered pH, causing the Bohr effect. Elevated carbon dioxide levels enhance unbinding of oxygen from oxyhemoglobin, thereby making oxygen available for actively metabolizing cells. By contrast, decreased carbon dioxide, as in the alveolar spaces, increases affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen and promotes oxygen loading and transport. To a limited degree, changes in temperature affect the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. The oxygen-carrying ability of hemoglobin is unaffected by normal temperatures. However, near metabolically active cells, blood temperature rises and decreases the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. The increased temperature promotes unloading of oxygen to continue fueling aerobic metabolism. When temperatures lower, metabolism slows and the need for oxygen in cells lessens. More oxygen remains bound to the hemoglobin. Red blood cells do not have mitochondria, so they do not undergo aerobic metabolism, using only glycolysis to generate ATP. Bisphosphoglycerate, or BPG, a special product of glycolysis, accumulates in red blood cells in low oxygen situations. The hormones thyroxine, human growth hormone, epinephrine, norepinephrine and testosterone can increase the production of BPG. The higher the level of BPG in the blood, the more oxygen that is unloaded from the hemoglobin.